Reproduction in plants. Here we have a flower. And these are all the different parts of the flower that we have to know. Don't worry if you don't know all of them. We're going to go through each one by one. So this part is called the sepal. Here we have the flowers. This is the stigma, style, and ovary. These three together make the carpel, also known as the female part of the plant. Inside the ovary, we find the ovule. This contains the female sex cells. This long green line is called a filament. At the end of the filament, we have an anther. The filament and anther make the stamen, which is the male part of the plant. So remember, stamen and men are males. The anther contains pollen, which contains the male sex cells. Okay, so now that we know all the different parts of the plant, let's see how plants reproduce. The pollen from the anther lands on the stigma. This process is called pollination. Once the pollen lands on the stigma, a pollen tube is created, which goes from the stigma down the style and into the ovary. The pollen makes its way down there. Here are the male sex cell and the female sex cell will combine. So the combination of the nucleus of the male sex cell with the nucleus of the female sex cell is called fertilization. We have now created an embryo. The other one is called a dormant embryo. This will act as food for the embryo once it's ready to germinate. But we're not there yet. This embryo needs to make its way into the soil where it can grow into a plant. So this flower eventually turns into a fruit. In some plants, it doesn't turn into a fruit. For example, in a dandelion, it turns into a parachute. So, either an animal or by wind will take the seeds and put them into the soil. Once conditions such as temperature and light intensity are correct, then the seed is ready to germinate. Soon after germinating, it will turn into a seedling and it will grow into a big healthy plant. Wind versus insect pollination. Here we have two different flowers. The flower on the left relies on wind to pollinate itself. The flower on the right relies on insects. So let's see the differences between these two flowers. Flowers that rely on wind have their anther and stigma outside. They also have long anthers. This is important as it allows wind to push the pollen away. And also, if the stigma is outside, it can catch the pollen. On the right, flowers that rely on insect pollination have their stigma and anther within the flower. The next difference is that the wind pollinated flower has feathery stigma. This is important because it acts like a net to allow it to catch pollen flying around. On the other hand, the insect flower has a sticky stigma. This is so that it can catch the pollen from insects like bumblebees. Wind pollinated flowers have many smaller pollen. This is important because wind can blow it away easily. However, this is not great for everyone as it can cause hay fever for some human beings. Also notice they have very boring flowers because they're not interested in attracting the attention of insects. On the other hand, insect pollinated flowers have large petals with bright colors. They give off a pleasant scent to attract insects and also have glands called nectarines which produce delicious nectar for insects to eat.
all of these motivates insects and as a result they will come and bring their pollen with them self-pollination versus cross-pollination self-pollination is when the pollen from the same flower goes onto its stigma this means the plant needs to have both male and female parts in cross-pollination pollen goes from one plant to another this could be because one plant only has male parts while the other one only has female parts or it could be that the male and female parts the stamen and carpels mature at different times of the year for example the male part on this flower is mature however the female part is not mature so it can't pollinate itself on the right the female part is mature but the male parts are not mature so again it can't pollinate itself meaning that it will have to cross pollinate hey guys if that video helped you support our channel by liking subscribing and sharing it with your friends and more importantly if you still have questions drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.